Lifting family, welcome back. So over the weekend, as you saw, we got to visit Santa and my kids were uber excited. That was amazing. And my youngest son, Oliver, was definitely amazed by Santa. And then my oldest son, Liam, is adorable as usual. This video is gonna focus on a company that I was reached out to by called Utopia Snacks. And they've got a great concept, quick items, quick snack items that will help with staving off cravings and just to make sure that you've got a well-balanced approach in terms of the foods and the snacks that you're eating. As far as the email that they sent me, they, their major focus here is that they, they wanted snacks that were high protein, low sugar, and then a, a few of the concepts were having them under 150 calories, portion controlled, and then just not another bar. There's so many bars that are out there on the market. So this is a concept where you can basically buy these different packs. The, the first step though is I, I do like the, the order process that they provide. They tell you both, thank you for your order, they tell you when your order has shipped, they tell you when your order is out for delivery, and then they tell you when your order has been delivered. That takes care of everything in terms of the tracking approach. I normally track all of my shipments. I am waiting, waiting, waiting until they finally arrive, and then I'm trying to make sure that I, I know when they did arrive so that when I get home that I can find that package there. And so as far as these snacks go, uh, overall, I, I did enjoy them. All right, so we've got three different servings to try. The first one that I believe came out of the box was the bananas for chocolate. So we've got organic banana chips, mocha espresso cookie puffs, organic dark chocolate sunflower seeds. So it looks like these little seeds. Um, oh, almost. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see that and I'm not gonna be able to hold it, but they are chocolate coated. That's not bad. A little bit of an aftertaste. These are the Mocha Espresso Cookie Puffs. The flavor is kind of where I would expect them to be. Not overly sweet. Good bit of cocoa in the mix. And then the banana chips. Banana chips are one of those things that don't really have a whole lot of flavor, at least in my opinion. So overall, it's a good blend though and it's got a pretty good nutrition profile overall. We're looking at a total of six grams of fat, 17 grams of carbs, three of that is fiber, eight grams of protein, and then I actually like that the serving size is one pack. The next one we're gonna go with is the Espresso Obsesso. As far as this one goes, we have got Mocha Espresso Cookie Puffs, Roasted Almonds, and Organic Dark Chocolate Espresso Beans. Start off with the chocolate one first, the little I like the coffee flavor in there. It's a little bit strong, but again, it's an espresso bean, so that flavor is like a little bit more concentrated. But I, I like I like things that are like a mocha flavor, and I really enjoy coffee being a, a part of different types of sweets, and that definitely is something that's decent. I would not want a lot of them just because the espresso flavor is pretty strong. The chocolate does help balance that back out a little bit, but. Overall, I think in the mix, they, they're definitely going to be good just because the flavors are gonna end up balancing themselves out with these little cookie puffs and then the almonds. Again, not a whole lot of flavor, but a good crunch to it, a good bit to chew through, and that's something that I really enjoy when it comes to snacks just because if I can basically just pop it all in my, in my mouth and then swallow it down, that snack did not really feel like much and then I'm still gonna end up being hungry and wanting something else. I'm gonna finish it off with the roasted almond. They're almonds, they're roasted. Nutrition facts on this one, we've got seven grams of fat, 13 grams of carbs, three of that is fiber, and then eight grams of protein. And again, serving size, one pack, excellent work there. Moving on to the last one. So money, honey mustard. We have got roasted almonds, honey mustard jalapeno sticks, Southwest Fava Crisps. I am gonna go with the Fava Crisps first. There's another brand that's out there. I've done a video on them in the past. I like these little beans. They're delicious. I like that they people are starting to use these and, and come out with more concepts around these just because they're good. They have a good nutrition profile overall. I like them. So I'm trying to kind of figure out what exactly that Southwest flavor is it's almost like a borderline 
what I would deem as like a mesquite barbecue. I'm not really getting a lot of the Southwest flavor in there. Maybe there's a little bit of chili powder in the mix, but but they're good. They're just, that would be more of what I'd deem again, a mesquite barbecue rather than more of a Southwest flavor, at least in my opinion. Next up is the honey mustard jalapeno stick. Not a whole lot of flavor going on there, like a dash of heat, almost like if you were to just put a, a couple shakes of pepper on your food. That'd be about the heat that you'd end up getting from this. And then finishing it off with the roasted almond. Nutrition profile, six grams of fat, 13 grams of carbs, four of that is fiber. And in this one, we top it off with 10 grams of protein. As far as which one I would prefer, I have different snacks for different cravings. So if I'm craving something sweet, that's where I'd probably end up going more towards the bananas for chocolate, followed up by the espresso obsesso. And that's just because, the, again, the espresso flavor was a little bit strong in the uh, dark chocolate covered espresso beans. And I, I like the balance of the bananas for chocolate. Usually when I have a snack, I like to incorporate some sort of fruit in that if I, if I can. And then depending on what time of day it is, usually at night is when I crave sweets. So if it's like mid afternoon, I'd end up going for the So Money Honey Mustard. I was hoping for a little bit more pop out of that honey mustard, a little bit of a sweeter stick, a little bit more flavoring on there. And then again, a little bit more heat coming from that too. But I like spicy food and I'm not talking about habanero spicy, but I, I could still tolerate that to a certain degree. But I, I definitely wanted a little bit more heat and just a little bit more of the honey mustard. So overall, a little bit more flavor. But each one of them is, is fairly good. So as far as a, uh, a flavor rating, I, I would go across the board like a, like a three and a half out of five. I don't really want to give it a three. I, I think that four um, might be a little bit too generous. So that's where we're going to go at that halfway point between the flavoring of all three. Just because I, I liked each one equally as well. Different components and different things that were ups and downs for each. Thank you Utopia for reaching out to me. I like your concept. I think it's amazing. I, I really like the, the approach that, you, that you've that you taken here and the packaging is, is excellent. And I like the overall look. I like the overall flavor of each one. I think that there could be some tweaks just based on my personal preferences. But other than that, you did a fantastic job. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your support. Remember to click that like button, smash that thumbs up, turn on notifications. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and as always, keep pushing.